Welcome to R for Data Analysis. The purpose of this course is to teach anybody how to analyze data using R. There are no prerequisites required to start this course. The course is broken up into five parts. Part one is fundamentals where we will go over the basics of programming in R. Part two is data acquisition where we'll learn how to get data into your R environment. Part three is data preparation. Part four, we'll start to develop insights around your data sets. And finally, part five will report on your data sets. R is a statistical programming language used commonly for data analysis across a wide array of disciplines and industries. It's often preferred over similar languages for its robust support of statistical analysis, its beautiful graphics, and its open source nature. It's important to note that R is for everyone, not just technical experts. At its most simple form, data analysis is the process of searching for meaning in data with the ultimate goal to draw insight from that meaning. The process of data analysis can be broken up into five steps. The first, gathering requirements. Before you start an analysis, it's important to make sure that requirements are understood. Requirements include the questions your stakeholders are hoping to answer, as well as the technical requirements of how you're going to perform your analysis. Step two is data acquisition. As you might imagine, before you can do an analysis, you first have to acquire your data. This can be done through methods such as manual creation of data sets, importing pre-constructed data, or leveraging APIs. Step three is data preparation. Most data that you interact with won't be received in the exact format that you need to begin your analysis. The process of data preparation involves structuring and adding features to your data. Part four is developing insights. Once your data is prepared, you can begin to make sense of it and start to develop insights about its meaning. Finally, step five is reporting. It's important to report on your data in such a way that the information can be digested by the people who need to see it when they need to see it. And lastly, I want to note that data analysis is for everyone, not just technical experts. Before we start diving into the process of data analysis and learning R, we're first going to get you set up. Step one is going to be to install R, and then step two is going to be to install R Studio. And then we'll go over some alternatives in case these aren't options for you. Before you do anything, you'll need to download R. This download will allow your computer to, to interpret the R code you write later on. To start, Download R from the R project for statistical computing. Navigate to www.r-project.org and you'll get this page. Next, you'll click Download R. You can technically choose any link here, but preferably you'll want to find one that's closest to your current location. So for me, I'll go down to USA just choose the first link. Next, you'll want to choose your download based on your operating system. For me, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to select Download R for Windows. Now you'll want to press Install R for the first time. And then press Download. Now your download will begin, and then you'll have the option to open an installer. Once you launch the R executable, just click through and accept all of the defaults and wait for R to install. After you install R, you'll need an environment to write and run your code in. Most people use a program called RStudio. To download RStudio, first navigate to posit.co slash download slash rstudio dash desktop. You can then scroll down and choose the download for your operating system. Since I have Windows, I'll just click the download button right here. And then once that installer finishes downloading, launch it and accept all defaults. If downloading R and RStudio on your local computer isn't an option for you, there are several alternatives. The first alternative is Posit Cloud. Posit Cloud offers users a way to replicate the full RStudio experience without having to download or set anything up on their personal computer. You can sign up for a free account at posit.cloud. 
The next alternative is Replit. Replit allows users to code in 50 plus languages in the browser. While you won't be able to follow along with the RStudio specific examples, you will be able to run R code. You can sign up for a free account at replit.com. The last option is Kaggle. Kaggle is one of the most popular sites for data analysts to compete in data competitions, find data, and discuss data topics. They also have a feature that allows you to write and run R and Python code. You can sign up for a free account at Kaggle.com.